Hello everyone. Today we're looking at Acts 2 verses 1 to 4 and here's what it has to say. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enables them. Well, good morning, friends. So good to get together. What we really want to do as Christians is grow in our faith. How do we grow in faith? How do you increase your faith? And I just want to mention three possible things that we can be doing that'll help us grow in faith. One, pray and ask God for more faith. Two, focus on obeying God's word and what he puts into your heart. You see it in James 2 and verse 14 and 15. And the third thing is put God's word in your mind. Romans 10 talks to us about this. Faith comes by hearing. God, speak to me. God, you've put something in my mind. Now may it flow into my heart and may faith flow into my life. Because growing in faith can be not easy. It can be a mountain. And when Jesus was alive here on earth, so many people saw him doing supernatural acts. Dead people were raised and deaf people got back healing, and people who were hungry got food prevent, pre prepared for them or given to them through Jesus. Now, what do you have to face in life? For all of us, our whole life won't be easy. There may be some big challenges. But the sad thing was, many people saw Jesus, the Son of God, actively at work. But when it came right down to it, how many of them really f believed he was the Son of God? I mean, in the upper room, you see, when the Holy Spirit was poured out, there were 120 in, in the room. And then there were people from different nations outside. And how many really believed it was Jesus? And what you face today is not everybody believes in Jesus. And we want God to show us his will. And we want God to show us what we are to do so that in our lives we follow and do the will of God. In the process, <coughs> many are the afflictions of the righteous. Acts 14 tells us about this. But we wanted to grow in faith. If God is going to increase your faith, what is he going to do then? And we see that what he's going to do is he will increase the challenges that you go through in life. And you don't want to just be doing your will. You want the things that God's will wants you to do done in you. Faith in our hearts is based on the promises of God. The promises where God will provide. He will provide for you in many different ways. He will complete in you a spiritual walk and work. And he's not going to bail out on you and leave you forsaken. You see in Hebrews 13, verse 25, and we're able to bear through trials as we get our trust and we put our trust in God. We can get our minds at peace when we put our trust in God. We can forgive sins and as we're wounded and grow in faith is what God wants us to do. We want to put our trust in God. And so make sure that you do the things God wants you to do. Without faith, it tells us in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So God, I want faith to pour in my heart, and I want to walk in faith, and I want to please you. And what is faith for us? It's when we believe in God and his promises, and we follow God and his commands. And we have confidence in God 
and what he says for us to do, we do it. So you want to grow in faith, and you want to see your faith increase. God will put you through circumstances in life that you'll know the only answer to this situation is for God to intervene. The only answer is for God to do a work, and God will do the work in you and through you and make a difference for other people. God, I give you my life. I ask you to bring your Holy Spirit to fill me and dwell in me and show me the things that I need to do and the steps I need to take so that my faith will increase. Now, what that'll mean is you'll have some tough steps to take in life. You'll have some tough journeys to take, but as you take them, faith will grow in your heart. Faith so that you can then face tough things like moving a mountain or calming a troubled sea, and God can give you the faith that's of a measure that will let you see it happen. Let your faith in God grow. Let your faith in God increase. Ask God for more faith and obey him. God may ask you different things to do that are not easy. Some people, he asks them to go to some other part of the world and share their faith as a missionary. Not easy. But when Jesus comes, you'll find his presence in your life. You'll find his Holy Spirit enters into you. And you will find yourself empowered in God by the Holy Spirit. And your faith will increase and you will able be able to do what God wants you to do. You will find that God has a will and a way for you. And he will empower you to do his will. Now, righteous people go through tough times. But God can walk you through the journey. Yeah, I've seen some tough times in life. And when you do, you turn to God and say, God, show me your will, give me your strength, and empower me to do your will. God can empower you to do the will of God and provide for you the strength to do it. Let him do that. Put your trust in him. And be sure that you're growing in faith. You want to know the will of God. And you want to be empowered by God to be able to do it. And you put your trust in him and let him empower you. And his spirit can flow through you. You can look at something that was impossible. That God by his spirit now makes it possible. And Jesus by his presence can use you to do what he wants you to do. Be a believer. Be an active Christian where the Spirit of God flows through you and be one that God wants to use and who uses what God gives you to do and you do it. You do it. You'll see in the scripture time and again, God will tell them to do something. Throw your net on the other side of the boat after you can't catch any fish, and then you pull in a net full of fish. Oh, you're going to feed 5,000 people? There's not enough food to do that, and God multiplies the food and gets you going to where you can do it. God can use you. Pray the prayer and ask God to use you. Ask him to increase your faith and ask him to put your heart in your heart, the mind and the will of God, and listen to what he says. Some people want to listen to things, but they don't want to listen to what God says. Listen to what God says and have him use you to do the will of God. Lord, I pray that you will show us your will. 
empower us and give us the strength to do your will. And as we walk through the journey of life and we face tough things, in each one of us, show us what your will is, and may we have faith enough to do what you want us to do. In Jesus' name we ask it. In Jesus' name. We do it so your will can be done in us on earth as it is in heaven. And give us the strength of God in our lives. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we pray for the will of God to be done. Have I ever had some things that God has brought across my path that are hard to do? Yes. Have I ever been empowered by God to do some of those tough things? Yes. And what comes out of them? Peace. Peace from God comes. Ask God for his peace in your heart, in your home, in places that you go. Ask God to give you his peace. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen and amen.